is Grandma Connie in bird form, you guys. Look at that. We got ourselves a goldfinch. Have not had one of those in a critter meal time before. Hi, huh? beautiful. Look at it. Look at that. Look at that. It's going to fly off yours. You wait and see. Happy critter meal time. Saffir Bay, 27 April 2024. Um, those are. Hi, honey! The yellow, uh, other yellow. Uh, that guy, that girl. That is a pine siskin. We've had a American goldfinch and a pine siskin so far in the video. Different wildlife. <laughs> and then here's here's more common. Well, not common. Beautiful. Well, not more beautiful. Well, okay, they're all beautiful in their own way. That's a squirrel. Gray squirrel. <gasps> so wild. Yep. Sorry. Here's another one. Come get your Dina. Been a little damp. You see this damper over here and dryer over here. Hi, babe. Um, um. Tell Dominique I love him. And here's Pumice. Dominique's the boss lie. The squid loves you. And says it wants to be an indoor squirrel in Hungary. In Hungary. With you and me, Dominique. My Dominique's the boss lie. Okay. So, what would I make? For YouTube videos, if I move to Deborah Sen, uh, hungry more generally. Well, I was thinking about that. I was like shaking up the theme day of the week. Maybe do just one or two themes. Could I do something like that's a daily thing that reflects what my life would be like? And I was like, well, how about language learning? So it'd be kind of like. So I have a Hungarian playlist, but like more specifically, like actually learning the language and figuring out sharing the process of learning it, be it like my own instruction attempt or like just what I'm finding kind of thing. And then, so that'd be one kind of overarching concept or theme. Um, and the other one being food, especially if they don't have a lot of the food that I eat currently, figuring that one out. Um, yeah. It's because I, if, if like doing stuff like this, well, if the squir squirrels live indoors, then I might not be these videos. Like I'm talking about like daily stuff, you know. Maybe in Scotland they live outdoors, but in Hungary they live indoors. Huh, pumice. And then they're like, you got to think about. So I talked about a scenario of friends coming and then getting married on the other side. Is it? My who my wedding at the house? Do we keep that structure if we get married in Hungary? Or is there like a big stadium marriage? Is the proposal, rehearsal, wedding spread out? Kind of like in terms of like there's a proposal and then a bit later uh, the wedding with or without a rehearsal. Because if we're doing, if there's a wedding during like a live match, there might not, there's not really a rehearsal for that because the match is determined by the day kind of thing. Um, so then the rehearsal, maybe we do our my who and my wedding here right before we leave. And then that serves as the rehearsal for the royal wedding, so to speak, in the stadium. So we could bring bring the my who and my wedding at the time of moving out back in here. Um there's is there another scenario? Yeah, yeah, the the one where it's my parents stay. Well I guess that kinda that's what it started with. Right, but I guess so. Returning to that, and my parents, right, were stay. They don't go see somebody. Kind of when we're moving, my stuff. And there's a wedding, but it might be smaller. I guess a smaller, you know, like my parents and the movers. And then we do. We we fly out of SeaTac or something, 
instead of Bellingham. Commercial, I do commercial versus private. So there's, well, I guess, but I've covered a number of those things already. So there's combinations of what I've already thrown out there. I guess the something I haven't really brought up, but could I think it's like, is this a determining factor? Would be a does the location for the marriage certificate matter? All right. If we're concerned about people tampering with the documentation down the road, like saying that's a forgery, they didn't actually get married in King County or something like that, then maybe Hungary is the better way to go. Right. Um, especially since it's real, you know, with the with stuff relating to my family tree of recent, you know, people like to come along and whether what they have is true or not, just say, that's a forgery, that physical reality thing that actually happened didn't happen. Like, yeah, all right. Maybe we should get married in a different country. <laughs> well, people aren't so dishonest as a habit. Here we go. Look how beautiful that is. And there's a crow. Hi, crow, crow. Are you guys being our serve? Ding, 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 ding. There we go. Marriage certificate. The marriage certificate is like, where did you get married? When did you get married? Who was the officiator? That kind of stuff. So I'm just throwing a bunch of ideas out there. But language learning and food. Especially, so I guess in Scotland, the language learning still applies because Scottish English or Scottish Gaelic, right? Um, oh, and that could morph actually into a uh, writing autobiography slash autobiographies or biography slash biographies do instruction right as I start that process if I start that process make it not just learning of language but sharing of what the heck am I doing how does how am I gonna do this <laughs> for writing this place live and learn and share the living and learning as I I, at the same time, if I can, but if not, still trying. There we go. Happy goldfinch, you guys. I got a goldfinch. All right, you guys. Dinner served. Dee, 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 dee. I don't know if you saw that. There were two squirrels under there. I got I got the tail of one, I think, on the video. Hi, babe. I hear the red squirrel, but don't see it. Oh, you broke a branch. They are actually in nesting mode. They've been collecting twigs and breaking branches and taking them as nesting material. All right, Regal Squirrel, you're the last one for the video. Quiet, quiet day. Yeah, yeah.